here's a before and here's an after here's before and here's an after hi there guys my name is Ryan and you can learn making create together with me in Adobe Photoshop today I'm going to show you how you can edit this amazing portrait step by step using some action so without any further ado let's get started <laughs> So here we are in Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, this portrait is looking amazing. Before we start retouching this portrait, make sure to check all the links down in the description because you will find the retouching actions also in this raw file. So don't forget to check all the links down below. I'm gonna start uh, with a clean. So click on clean and click click. After we do that, as you can see, we have the clean layer that says clean here and the spot healing brush tool is automatically selected because we are going to clean this portrait with uh, spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. And here we have the black and white health layer that's, uh, uh, that helps us to see some details in the harsh highlights. So I'm gonna turn on this, click on clean layer, zoom in and start cleaning this portrait. As I said in the beginning, make sure to check the links down in the description because you will find the raw file and some premium raw files. For example, this one that I'm retouching right now, that is from Victor Best. Just click on the link and go to the website and you will have the raw files. And here's a before and after of what we've done so far with the cleaning. And I think that is looking okay. I'm just gonna put these two layers on top and remove the clean and black white health layer. Now it's time for the dodge and burn. So I'm just gonna click on dodge and burn, turn on the black and white health layer and close the actions. Go to the window, arrange and click new window. The reason why I'm doing this is because uh, this way you can dodge and burn like a professional. So click again on the window, arrange and choose two up vertical so we have two windows i'm gonna click on this one and make a smaller window just like that zoom out just a little more and as you can see we have the zoom out window and the zoom in so when you are dodging burning into the portrait you don't have to zoom in and zoom out every time so you have to keep working on the right window and keep an eye on the left one so Everything that happens on the right one, you can see in the left one. Open the dodge and burn group and click on dodge. You can zoom in. Click B for brush with a white brush into the black layer mask with a soft drawn pressure opacity brush. I guess 50% brush and 10% flow. Just like that, I'm going to start dodging into this portrait. So as I said, make sure to, uh, to have a one eye in the left one and keep working and the right window just like that so here's a before and after and keep working with the dodge and burn until we are done So here's a before and after of what we've done so far. Now I'm just gonna close the left window and here we have a before and after with a dodge and burn and here's with a black and white health layer and I think that is looking okay. Now that we're done with a dodge and burn, I'm just gonna merge these two into a single one. Right click and click merge layers. Click on actions again and it's time for the frequency separation. So just click on frequency separation and click play wait until it's done open the frequency separation group and here we have the color and the texture so in the color we are going to work with the mixer brush just a little and in the texture with the clone sand tool so turn off the texture now and click on the mixer brush so the right settings for the mixer brush are wet by 10 percent load uh, by 45 mix by 45 and flow by 53 i'm gonna zoom in here and i will start mixing that in uh, skin tone sorry uh, but you have to be careful on the uh, for example into this portrait or some others for example the model when you have uh, when the model has freckles so you don't want to remove them so you have to be careful as I said with a mixer brush you have to keep mixing the skin tones with the highlights and shadows but just a little not that much So 
So here's before and after what we've done so far in the color in the frequency separation group. And I think that is looking amazing. Now just zoom in just a little. And I think that is looking okay. Now that we are done with the color, we have to click on the texture and we start cleaning in some parts if you want to. For example, if you didn't uh, sorry, if you didn't finish with cleaning in the beginning, you can clean clean here. Just click on the clone stamp tool, zoom in and start cleaning. For example, we are going to remove these lines. You have to click all keyboard uh, to make a sample or to copy the texture and just paint it like that. But we are going to reduce the opacity of the layer because this one is kind of looking fake. So here are before and after and I'm going to reduce it by 50%. Now check out before and after what we've done so far. And I think that we're done with frequency separation. Uh, we are going to put some dodge and burn into this portrait inside the frequency separation group. So I'll just click play on dodge and burn and open the dodge and burn group. Click on dodge and turn on the black white hair player with a white brush and 100% opacity and 100% flow. You're going to paint with a white brush into the black layer mask and just paint it like this and as you can see 100% was way too much so I'm gonna go by 45 maybe and keep painting or keep putting some highlights into this portrait just like that zoom out and here's before and after of the dodge I think it's okay but it's too much so I'm gonna go by 55 now check it before and after again click on the burn turn on the black white help layer again and start painting with a white brush into the black layer mask so here's the before and after again only the burn and if you think that is way too much you can always lower the opacity of that one you can even enter the layer mask by clicking all keyboard and click in here on the layer mask and here we have what we've done with the brush so I'm gonna make some changes by going to filter blur and Gaussian blur to make this even smoother I think this one is okay just like that click OK now you can enter out just like that and here's the before and after I think that I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this one sorry by 65% just like that and here's the before and after of what we've done so far and I think that is okay but uh, you can click again on the color because I think that this one was kind of too much so I'm gonna lower this by 85% maybe and I think it's okay I'm gonna remove the hair here on the neck by going to clone stamp tool again and make a sample here or copy the texture and just paste it like that but as you can see this is 50% uh, so everything that we do is like 50% and there is not that much so I'm gonna merge these two into a single one right click and merge layers and put the normal to linear light so keep cleaning this part So here's the before and after of everything. And now that we are done with frequency separation and the dungeon burn, it's time for some makeup details. So I'm just gonna click here that says I retouch and click play, click continue, click OK, wait until it's done and zoom in into the eyes with a white brush. Click here that says remove veins. Uh, this one is to remove the veins inside the eyes, but I think that we have cleaned the uh, portrait in the beginning, so it's OK. Now I'm just gonna click on brightening and this one is for the brightening of the eyes. You can just paint aerial squares with a brush into the soft round and paint it inside the white of the eyes just like that. Make sure to make this into the both of the eyes. So here's a before and after. 100% is too much so I'm gonna go by 35. Now click on the eyeball brightening. Zoom in and just paint it inside the eyeball. Do the same process in both of them. Zoom out and I think that 100% is kind of too much so I'm gonna go by 65. Now click on the iris contour. Zoom in. Paint around the contours of the iris just like that zoom out and here's before and after and lower this by 45 now check a before and after again of the eye retouch and I think that is okay now that we are done with the eye retouch it's time to put some uh, smoky eyes so just click play and zoom in we are going to paint here just a little by making this even better with the makeup details just like that 
and here's a before and after i think that i'm going to lower this just a little more by 20 percent maybe and i think that it's okay now you can click here that says eyeshadows pick a color you can play two or three or empty layers so you have to pick a color for the makeup so you can just click here and maybe choose the color that you want we're gonna go with this one and start painting around the eyes This one is great for the makeup artist. So here's a before and after. I think it's okay, but 100% kind of always is too much. So I'm gonna go by 65 or maybe 45. Now click on the other eyeshadow pick a color layer. And I think that I'm gonna go with a darker one or this pink. And I think that this one will work fine or maybe a darker one and just paint it around the edges. Just like that. And now I'm gonna choose a lighter color for the light that is on the makeup, just like that. And here's before and after. 100% is kind of too much, so I'm gonna go by 35 maybe, something like that. Now check a before and after of everything that we've done so far. And I think that they are looking good, but I'm gonna make another one and zoom in with a black color. I'm just gonna paint on the eyelashes, just like that. So here's a before and after, and I think that it's okay. Now that we're done with the aim, uh, sorry, eye makeup, I'm gonna create another empty layer here. Right click, and I will select the eyelashes that I got from Victor, Victor Baz. You can check the link down in the description, and you can click on the link, and you will go directly to the lashes with a discount. Now I'm gonna check all the lashes one by one until I find the best one for this. And I think that I'm gonna stick with this one, the Victor Lushes 4, and just make this big enough and move with the arrows, just right click, sorry, left click. And here we have the Lushes. You can uh, control and click T, and right click, click on warp to make changes and make fit for the portrait. And I think that this one is okay. Click okay. And here's a before and after. Now you can rename this I Lushes. Uh, maybe left left eye you can make another copy of this one right click uh, sorry click ctrl T to transform and click flip horizontal and just drag this into the other eye oops sorry right uh, ctrl T and click on the warp again zoom in just a little more and make some changes to fit this one. Click OK, now check a before and after. I think it's looking OK, but I'm gonna make just a little more changes by transforming this. Now check a before and after. Click again and click warp. You have to fit this perfectly so it doesn't look fake. Now check it before and after, and I think that is looking amazing. Now that we are done with the up lashes, uh, create another empty layer, and here we have the bottom lashes, and we have to check them one by one again. And I think that this one is looking okay. Play with the arrows to fit your just like that. Now you can zoom out and check it before and after. I think it's okay. You can. Make another copy of this one and control T to transform, flip horizontal and move into the other eye. Just like that. Zoom in. And I think that is looking okay. So click on warp and make changes just like that. Click okay. Now check a before and after all this entire process. And now that we are done with painting uh, eyelashes, I'm gonna uncheck them one by one, zoom in. And as you can see, they're kind of blurry. So I'm gonna add some noise to make them look even better. Click on noise and click add noise. I think four will be enough. And click on the other one and click filter, add noise. Check the other bottom lashes. So. This one is here, so click again uh, to the noise, but first time, uh, first we are gonna add some blur into this one. So go to blur and 
add some Gaussian blur. I think one will be enough. Maybe it went down like this one. Now click on the other one. Click filter and add uh, Gaussian blur. Click filter again. Click uh, noise and add some noise to the bottom lashes. And I think six will be enough for this one. So click on the other one. Do the same process zoom out and make a group from the eyelashes oops sorry so here's the before and after and if you want to make some changes on the eyelashes you can even add some layer mask for example into this one right click and I'm gonna go to the general brushes and click on the soft brush to make some changes into this eyelash just like that you can swipe them out and here's a before and after you can click on the upper one click on the layer mask and you can paint them out just like that if you want to but I think that they're looking okay so here's a before and after of the eyelashes and now that you are done with the eyelashes it's time for some other makeup details so just click here that says cheeks and click play zoom in just a little and paint on the cheeks just like that and as you can see 100% of the brush was too much so I'm gonna go by 25 of this one zoom out just a little and I think 25 is too much so I'm gonna go by 50 I think it's okay now click here on the lipstick color zoom in into the lips and open the group turn on a lipstick and just paint on the layer mask So here you have a list of lipstick colors, you can check them one by one. And if none of them fits your style, you can just double click here and you can pick another color that you want for your lipstick. And I think that I'm going to stick with this one, but I'm going to lower the opacity by 35. Oops, sorry. Zoom in here and here's before and after. You can double click here and make some changes on the highlights and shadows, just like that. So here's before and after. And I think that this one is looking okay. Now that we are done with lipstick color, it's time to put some darkened nostrils into this one and the eyeshadow pop. So for the darkened nostrils, you can just zoom in. Oops, sorry. And with a white brush, you can just paint it here. But 100% is kind of too much. You can just uh, paint them out by, I think, uh, seven, uh, 65 kind of too much. So I'm going to go by 25%. Now check it before and after. It's okay. Now click here that says eyeshadow pop. And just paint around the eyes, just like that. Sorry, not inside, just outside the eyes. Do the same process in the other one. You can zoom out and check a before and after. 100% is kind of too much, so I'm gonna go by 25%. Now check a before and after of this entire process of retouching. And I think that is looking amazing. And now that we are done with the makeup details, it's time for some finish and export settings. So just click on sharpen, click play, click OK and switch this into the white. Zoom in just a little and here you have a before and after of the sharpen action. And I think that is OK, but 100% uh, is kind of too much. So I'm going to go by 45. Click on the basic contrast, click play and reduce the opacity by 35, I guess. Now click here that says face contour, click play, double click here if you want to make changes about the highlight, midtones and shadows. I think that I'm going to make some changes about the midtones and just a little about the highlights. So here's a before and after, reduce the opacity of this one. 
So here's before and after everything that we have done so far into this portrait. Now that we are done with the retouch, it's time for some color grade. So I'm just gonna make another copy of this background and click Shift Keyboard, click here, right click, and go from Layers, rename this one Retouch. Make another copy of the Retouch, right click, and click on Merge Group. Just like that, so click Control A to select all this window, Control C to copy, go to File, New Window, and click Create. So it's time for some color grade. And I will check all of them one by one until I find the best color grade that fits this portrait. So I think that I'm gonna stick with the CG3 as you can see here before and after and just drag and drop this into the original window and turn on. So I'm gonna check them one by one and make some changes into the adjustments just like that. So here's the before and after into this CG4 and I think that I'm gonna put some adjustments into this portrait. So I'm gonna put the color balance, click on the highlights. Uh, make this portrait look more into yellow skin tone just like that click again on the color balance now it's time for the midtones lower this one too and here's before and after i'm gonna make some changes into the yellows lower this by 50 percent now click again on the selective color and click on the reds And put this into 50% opacity and put them inside the color grade group so here's before and after you can zoom in so here's before and here's an after here's before and here's an after so that's it for the day guys I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file and the retouching actions also the color gate actions recently I made another bit of bond bundle pack 2023 and you can click the link down in the description so you will get a discount like i don't know it's kind of from 300 to 50 per uh, 50 dollars so don't uh, forget to check the first link that is in the description so you, you will get all these uh, retouching actions that i'm working in 2023 and see you guys in the next one peace